Hey everyone, welcome to the T4 Show. My name is Michael Nana. As you can see, I have my media center here, my TV, my Mac Mini, the 360, set up pretty nicely. Also behind me here, the Sony soundbar, which I'm looking to upgrade soon. But as far as the Mac Mini is concerned, which is the newest piece of my media center collection here, uh, the most important accessory that I've come to use on a daily basis when I have used the Mac Mini is this, the Logitech Denova Mini. Now, out of the box, they say that it doesn't work with Mac OS X, but it does. And uh, what I'm gonna do here is a real short tutorial on how you can get the most out of using the keyboard functions, the keystrokes, as opposed to using uh, the little mouse pad here, which is very, very uh, small and not very intuitive, and it's pretty cumbersome and clunky to use if you wanna navigate through Leopard or any other application. There's two quick uh, keystroke uh, tips that I want to give uh, and then whatever else I add on to it. So let's uh, let's do a couple things here and we'll show you how to uh, navigate around using the Nova Mini on your Mac Mini Media Center. One of the hardest things to do, especially if you're using this part of the uh, of the mouse pad to try to navigate is to open up applications. But the easy way to do it is to actually hit the Windows key and the space key at the same time. And what that does is open up Spotlight and then you can type in any uh, application or anything that you're looking for and it will open it up by hitting Enter. And that's pretty much it on that one. Another tip, and this is uh, to quit applications, is to hold the Windows key down, which mimics the Apple key. So just think, when you think of the Windows key stroke here, think of the Apple key or the Command key on your Mac keyboard. That and Q will quit any application. And uh, that goes uh, so on and so forth for Windows and any other keystroke in between. So if you have email open, you can actually hit Windows and R to actually reply to an email. Uh, you hit Enter to open the email first and then hit the, uh, the Windows and the R key to reply, type your email. And then it is Windows Shift to send the email so you don't even need to use the mouse to go up to send or do any of that stuff and that's just some quick tips if you're familiar with keystrokes on your Mac and you know this Windows key is uh, the substitute for the uh, command key or the Apple key on your uh, Mac keyboard you'll be able to navigate through your Mac mini uh, very easily so that's just a few quick tips that I picked up and there's many more uh, if I find them I will post them up on future videos but for now for everybody here at the T4 show Thank you and best of luck in all your keystroke endeavors.